Welcome back to the vlog, that is upper body session done. We're gonna get some food when we talk to you today's eating. This is the day of eating, I said that. Let's get back to the house, get some food. Okay, time to get some breakfast. So, um, yeah, great workout this morning, great upper body workout, and then we had a great uh, 6 a.m. session, and the great crowd that comes in the morning, they're all fucking really good spirits. Great way to start your day. Um, so I've done my upper body workout this morning. We have a pit session tonight, which is probably going to be running heavy. So really, like my goals for eating today is number one: recover from that workout today, and then fuel my workout later on. So I'm going to show you a day of eating. Um, in between work and travel, I'm actually going to do a podcast today. I have a few meals prepared, so hopefully it gives you a few ideas and just show you how I kind of structure things. So first thing, we're going to go for some eggs and some oats. day off with eggs um usually it's my post-workout meal i always train early so it's usually the meal i have afterwards i think number one they're just handy number two good source of protein and um they're tasty you know so it's a one one um i'm gonna go for four eggs i'm gonna go for um probably about 56 grams of oats and then maybe um we have a wee bit of cheese into these eggs as well here but i'm gonna put all my calories and stuff up here as well too so you just can follow along but um yeah eggs and oats to start So with uh, focus being on kind of recovery from that workout and then fuel tonight, two things is like getting good protein on board, so I'm getting that from my eggs, and then getting carbs on board, so coming from the oats here. I am uh, having it with some almond milk, I'm um, just like changing up from water. So I'm probably not going to be eating for a couple hours, so I want to make sure I get a good amount of calories in here now as well, um, so that I'm kind of fuel myself for the next couple hours, and also so that um, I'm actually just getting my calories eating for the day especially before this training tonight you know i don't want to be eating a lot of calories after that before we go to bed i want to try and get most of my eating in um in the hours leading up to this pit session tonight <laughs>
So one thing I'm adding to my oats this morning just to give it a little bit more flavor, so it's not pure plain, is this options hot chocolate stuff. I think it's, it's like pretty low calories. It's like 40 calories in three teaspoons. So just fire it in just to give it a bit of a chocolatey taste. Little bit today from that meal last night, but the good thing about me, she knows that I'm like, Okay, so breakfast. Chocolate oats. Egg, I've we'll also threw a wee bit of cheese, like low calorie cheese in the middle of that too, I like throwing a bit of cheese in the legs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this here and then back down to the gym to do a couple of sessions and then we're on the road for the podcast. So, uh, just waiting for a client to come here and I thought I would jump in and uh, tell you about the train schedule for this week. It's got to be coffee as well. Um, so yeah, train schedule this week. Today is Wednesday. I had recorded this vlog yesterday, or sorry, Monday, but it just, I don't know, I looked back at the footage and I was like, it's, it wasn't my best effort, basically. So that's why I re-recorded it, and that's why it's a wee bit later than usual. Anyway, um, so we're training this week. We had, uh, we had uh, kind of heavy enough training on Sunday, um, which was kind of a lot of running. We got back into running last week, which is horrible, but fun. I felt good fitness wise. I think the run I've been doing has sort of put me in a good position, but still work to be done, obviously. Um, so that was Sunday, and then Monday night, then the lads were down in the gym with me. Um, I was obviously taking that session, and then um, so Monday, I'd done um, my heavier upper body session of the week, so it was my kind of highest intensity. When we say intensity, I mean like weights, so that was my hardest one. Um, and then I'd done some jiu jitsu on Monday as well, keep, keep doing that and really enjoying it. And then Tuesday was yesterday, so it was my heavy lower body session. It was a heavier session for the week. So try and get those heavier sessions done at the start of the week, um, especially when you know you've got more training towards the end of the week. You want to try and get them done early. Um, and then today I done more like that kind of pump work, um, more higher volume upper body stuff. And then tonight we have a pitch session, which will be sort of will be running dominant, will be heavy running. Um, so I don't want to do lower body session those days. Um, that's why I done upper body today and kind of got the lower body stuff done out of the way. Looking to tomorrow then, tomorrow what I might do is I might just do like some jiu-jitsu or maybe some upper body work, um, something like because we have a game on Friday, so I want to kind of remain somewhat fresh for that. So um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'll probably do something light, um, probably upper body work and maybe some jiu-jitsu, something like that. Friday then we have a game, so we have a friendly, I'm not even sure who we're playing, but we have a friendly on Friday, which should be good fun. And then um, Saturday and Sunday we have weekend off, so what I might try and do is get my other lower body session for the week done, um, on possibly Sunday, and then uh, maybe as well try and get some sort of training into, whether it be running um, on Sunday or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, that's the training plan for this week. Okay, so I'm on route now, I'm doing a podcast today with Monaghan legend Desi Moan, just retired this year. Um, I'm excited for this one, been a big fan of him throughout the years, especially like those Donegal Monaghan battles, like around that 2012 time. So I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this one. Um, so I have to drive a bit of a distance to get here, so one thing I've done is prepared some lunches, which I'll show you whenever I'm eating them, but uh, I always have a bad habit whenever like I dr drive a long way, like I'll stop in fucking every shop I go by and get a coffee and um, I'll not bring food with me and you end up just getting like fucking protein bars or like a sandwich, it's just, it's just not good, it's a bad habit I'm in. So I'm trying to get out of that today, I've brought lunch with me, going to limit the coffee to maybe one at most, um, but uh, yeah, on the road here now. I weirdly like driving a lot, I like driving a long distance like this here because and I know that's like probably not good because it's the second time away that I could be doing my master's work or, or something for the gym but to see having like you know two hours where no phone you just sit and put on a podcast and chill out and not think about it too much is nice especially when if you're always on your phone you're always go um driving can be like a nice kind of peaceful Meditation nearly, it's weird. But anyway, on the road here now to Clontibret in Monaghan. Clontibret, whatever it is. So, yeah. Okay, so it is uh, one, sorry, 12 o'clock. And I'm just having a bit of lunch now. So it's the first meal I've had since, um, so this is the first meal I've had since uh, my breakfast today. Again, remember what I said, the purpose of today is refuel from that workout this morning and then fuel for the workout tonight. So what we need then is good quality carbs, good quality proteins. Um, I have prepared, my, my mom actually prepared this, some sweet potato and some salmon. 
Um, there you go. So yeah, this was prepared last night and then just brought it with me. But, um, you know, having things prepared so much better because you have to stop in the shop and, getting stuff and get stuff, it's never going to be good. Um, I'll put up the calories for this here with it. But yeah. Pretty good. Well done, Ma. Okay, so here now for the podcast. Um... In Monaghan Town, actually. Ramfit headquarters. So let's go and check it out and see the crack. Get this podcast done. Right, turn up. Try and do it properly with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I see these boys do like piles of reps this as well. Yeah. Two minutes. It's even hard to grip with like grip as well. Yeah, so they work on grips as well. It's uh, uh, just like the weight of the worm is off the shoulders, really? the pressure is off, no anxiety, no Good thinking. Of, no thinking, what am I going to do? What if I make this mistake? Yeah. What if this by uh, kicks a goal or kicks a goal and three points on me today and what's the crowd going to think and um, you know so podcast finished up um that was a really good podcast enjoyed it uh desi was uh it was really good to have in the podcast chatted away about his time plan i think gave some some great advice but also we went around that uh warehouse so like i didn't know that Desi's brother owns this uh, ram fit company um, which is essentially like a kind of weighted foam roller that you do like different movements with but you can do body tempering and foam rolling and then also like Gaelic performance gloves or the GP gloves which like I would wear um, so that was pretty um, pretty interesting and we're walking around the factory which is cool to see got just that last week clip there but um, yeah really good podcast really enjoyed that I love doing these podcasts and when I'm meeting these people that like you used to watch it's pretty fucking cool so anyway gotta go back down the road uh, might make a quick stop in the shop to get a coffee and then uh, eat on the road then we're back down to coach tonight busy day let's go so just pulled in to get a bit of lunch here um, again just trying to get good again just trying to get good protein get some good carbs because now I'm thinking about fueling up for this train tonight and got some fats so this is turkey and meatballs avocado and um, like one of them bags of rice so quite a lot in this here meal but this is essentially my dinner for tonight and this is fueling my training it's now uh, it's now uh, just after three o'clock um, so it's given the, it's nearly four o'clock so it's given a good amount of time for this to get into my system um, I'm on the way down the road so I kind of have to eat this and drive which isn't ideal but you know needs must um, so yeah on the way back here now these turkey meatballs are class from Lidl, obviously. So just stopped on, we're at home there, just to get a wee coffee and also to eat this here. It's a Alpro fucking chocolate mousse thing. I don't know really what it is. Head northwest I'll give you, on Culvercullion Road, B48 towards Dagborough Road, B47. I'll give you a review here. Not bad. It's pretty much just like a chocolate yogurt. I've also just been snacking on these nuts here on the way home as well. Good wee snack, like they are high calories, but better option than eating the fucking chocolate bar, Sean. Good protein as well, so I've been snacking on them on the way home. finished up good session it was tight a lot of running but it was good and we got some food afterwards and we got to talk over the new rules which is going to be interesting to say at least but yeah um
So yeah, I finished up with about 2,500 calories um, and the breakdown was like kind of 40 carb, 30, 30 fat, um, which was all the same for fats or maybe a wee bit higher than that there just because I had the nuts and stuff like that. But yeah, good day of eating and it's amazing that we have things prepared, how much better it is, but a good day in general as well, just getting up to chat to Desi and then good couple training sessions. So good day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.